Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll discuss about the process of patenting. The process of patenting actually majorly takes place in four steps. But in this entire topic, we are having some other intermediate steps also that we will be discussing one by one. But in today's class, we'll just uh, give a brief explanation about how, how exactly the patent process starts. See. Uh, for applying patent you have two types one is online application and another one is offline application but as for your syllabus we will be explaining about the offline application forms in india there are four patent offices are there which are categorized into southern northern then uh, eastern and as well as rest part of the world uh, of the india so that we will have a separate topic that we will discuss in the later stage let's see how it how you start okay so we know that applying for a patent requires prior knowledge of a particular field of research or area so once you imagine you made some particular product that product has to be new right all the criteria it has to meet so to me to meet all those criteria it should be novel it should be having some significance or importance should be there inventive step should be there right so for that only we need to see whether the particular work is already been published in any other area or not or any other uh, websites social media or any other kind of uh, publishing authorities like maybe the scholarly articles like uh, scientific articles like research scholar review articles textbooks all handbooks all those things we need to make sure that this particular work is not being published anywhere okay that we have to see that will be like prior art of search uh, prior art search that we will discuss in the as a first topic and then we will be uh, discussing about patent databases and uh, npl all those things and all next choices patent application forms we'll be discussing about jurisdiction of filing patent applications and then what are the different offices publications pre-grant opposition examination grant of patent and finally validity of the patent production and commercialization of the patent all the 10 steps will 10 uh, uh, detailed steps are there whereas generally you can categorize it into four steps first thing is to apply okay so in India, the process of grant of patent is lengthy procedure. Usually, it takes three to four years or more. So when you file a patent, okay, in while filing patent, there are two types. Uh, either you can file individually or you can go for the uh, through agent. While filing, uh, when filing individually, what happens? So you need to uh, you can file yourself. Whereas in uh, through agent, he should be he or she should be at IP attorney through them you are going to file so uh, what happens first you have to draft the patent you write down what are the what is the title what are the you know different uh, uh, criteria or features of your particular product which you are patenting and what is the novelty how it is different from others and what are the uh, different industries you are targeting what are the who are the target audience or who will buy this kind of product or how what are the use cases everything you have to mention then we are will be having claims so claims and claims also will be mentioning what you are claiming okay all those things you have to mention in the claim uh, all the features of your product has to be mentioned okay so all these things you should keep, keep ready and then you start uh, the process of filing so process of filing it starts it begin with filing application with ipo so here ip offices ipo stand for ip offices intellectual property office there are many other uh, this thing offline uh, four offices are there online also there, there is a website you can see here this is the website okay where you can just log in you can take create your profile and you start applying or start filing for a patent so next step is publishing so once you apply for a patent what happens this particular patent will be kept secret in the patent office of india for 18 months okay so if you are going for if imagine that your product has to be released earlier patent grant should be faster then you can go for the the early publication uh, with extra fees uh, will be there that you have to pay and you have to go for the early publication as of now the early publication fees is around 2600 something like that 
so next once you file a patent then the next step is publishing you need to publish the patent okay so publishing uh, requires what what are the documents everything uh, whatever you have submitted to the patent office after 18 months for normal application it is 18 months for uh, early publication it will take around six months okay so once you apply for a patent okay file for a patent then after 18 months if it is normal pro, uh, application if it is uh, early application it will be six months it will be published in the ip databases okay so once the publishing is done then what uh, there will be a, there will be a examination by the people it will be made available to the public so the public can question they can challenge this work is already been done or this is my work kind of stuff all those things will be there if you don't get any kind of those issues then you can also after once it is publishes if you are uh, applying for individually you should request uh, for an examination of your patent that you have to fail automatically it will not go so it has to be applied manually that you, you or your IP attorney or your agent you have to file an application that please examine my patent which has been published so and so day so once the examination starts examination here here this is a very important part where all the experts will be there of that particular area so those experts will start examining your patent how they will examine they will see if the particular work is already been published in anywhere else maybe through the patent portals you are having patent portals also there uh, we can check there or every country has got their own patent portals us patent is there japan patent is there uh, no, uh, chinese patent office uh, is there uh, websites are there okay european websites are there indian websites are there you can check there or you can simply go for the google uh, patents in google scholar there is a patent this thing there also you can check so once you check means uh, they will check for validity and then they will also examine the most of the more most of uh, the examination will be on your product what is your product what are the different features whether these uh, features whatever you have mentioned scientifically valid or not whether you have done some what you say uh, uh, whether you have avoided some logics or scientific evidence all those things and all they will check and then they will send you the queries there will be around 20 to 30 or 40 to 50 questions will be there which are raised by the examiners these examiners not uh, uh, they are not in the part of uh, of the ip office they will be a separate entity where the scientific uh, experts will be there of a particular area whatever your product is there if you are belong to your product is belong to the electronics or communication and as well as computer science only those experts will be there it will be assigned to them they will review all your uh, patent and then they will raise the queries then queries will be sent back to you and once the queries came you have to answer all those queries once Ex uh, then once you answer it you have to submit it once you submit it will go to the examiner examiner will examine it and if you will find uh, if he finds all the answers are satisfactory then only he will say that this patent can be uh, granted or he can reject also with few reasons and finally once he approves your application or your all your uh, this thing based on your query answers of uh, queries then he can uh, uh, once he approves then the patent office will grant you the patent okay so this is the major steps filing the application with ipo after 18 months it will be published okay if at all it is early publication around six months within six months it will be published and then the examination will take place again for examination very important point is you have to file your uh, application to go for the examination okay it will not go automatically automatically it will not be done the examination has to for, for, for examination you have to write a form and submit next the grant after the once the examiner finds satisfactory with all your queries then he can grant the patent to you so that's how the this process of patenting works in that we are having around nine ten topics subtopics we will discuss from the process of filing to before filing what should we do prior of art search is nothing but you are you have to find that this particular work is not there anywhere okay not even in uh, patent or uh, this related websites not even in non-patent literature also then uh, different databases are there that we will discuss and then choices of applications to be filed whether it should be provisional or whether it should be complete that will be discussing Prov provisional means with a short term like uh, uh, you will be giving like idea though, where complete information is not there about your patent okay uh, but within one year you have to file 
complete means it's a normal process next patent application forms are there two different forms are there which are basic information they will take and technological information they will take then there also you have to mention provisional or complete with this thing with the evidence i will explain you in detail next jurisdiction that means we have two, four different offices are there that also we will discuss in detail next publication so it will be made available in 18 months after that if anybody has got objections and all they will go for pre grant opposition if they, uh, if uh, they find that it is actually uh, the uh, with evidence if they find that this is actually the infringement is happened or something and the challenges are valid then it will be rejected or else they will automatically go for you can go for the examination so, but automatically it will not go we have to file for uh, examination when ex examination they will scrutinize experts will scrutinize they will raise the queries if you, uh, they are satisfied with our answers they will say yes okay then uh, you can go for the grant of and then finally you will get a grant of patent okay and this is how it works okay the patent filing will be there before patent when you when the uh, you have to request for early then if it is early then soon patent office will publish the patent in official journal and then it will go for the if no objections finds then go for the patent grant all those things if objections is there then it will be rejected then if it is then finally it will be going to the examination that is fer first examination report will be there and once you address all those issues and then your uh, the patent will be granted okay next validity validity is usually all of you know for 20 years in some countries the extension will be given because the initial uh, phase it takes a lot of time three to four years or more than that okay next commercialization of the patent like if, now you will be owning your patent it's your uh, what you say the wish to sell it to distribute it or anything you want to do it all those things we will discuss in the uh, one by one topic okay so that's it it's just a, a brief explanation about the how the patent filing works okay so that's it uh, we will discuss this topic in detail uh, one by one in the next class